I'm in a walking group, but like every other walking group in the country at the moment, it's currently shut down due to the COVID-19 pandemic, where we must all keep our social distance from each other. But it's a really nice spring day out there. I'd like to go out. I'm sure you'd like to go out. You'd like to make sure that you maintain your social distance. So I'm going to show you how to make a multi-pandemic social distancing device that could save your life. What you're going to need is a trekking pole. First thing you need to do with a trekking pole is get a metal file and sharpen up the end of it until with a swift jab you can puncture flesh, bone or even light body armour. The next thing you're going to need are some labels of all the different pandemics that this device is going to help you survive. You could use handwritten freezer labels or maybe you've got um, a label writer like this. What you're going to do then is using the best scientific data available attach those labels to the extending shaft of the trekking pole according to the severity of the pandemic that you're currently trying to survive. So at a short extension we have man flu. Not a particularly serious illness so we only need to self socially distance ourselves by that much. Further along the shaft we come to cooties. Not quite sure what cooties is. They seem to get it in The Simpsons quite a lot so maybe it just affects two-dimensional children. A bit further along if there's a lot of colds coming around you should keep your social distance by arm's length plus the length of the trekking pole. That brings us to the end of the less serious things that this can protect you from. Section 2 of the pole then we extend that and we get to where we are today, COVID-19. So if you hold this pole at arm's length it will keep you the correct social distance away from potentially infected people. But of course COVID-19 isn't the worst thing that you could catch. What if we had an outbreak of Ebola? then you want to be at least that much further away. And it could get even worse than Ebola, because the thing about Ebola is, although it's pretty scary, it kills so quickly that it doesn't tend to create massive outbreaks. Spanish flu, on the other hand, killed 30 million people in 1918, so you've got to be even further away from other people, and that's going around. Anything worse than Spanish flu? Well, yes, of course, you've got the classic zombie virus. At that point you definitely want to make sure that you really sharpen the end of your stick. What could be worse than zombies? Well, thing is, this is going to happen again. We'd survive COVID-19, but what happens when COVID-24 breaks out? It could be even worse. It could be even worse than zombies. So, make sure that you are prepared make sure that you've got your toilet rolls, make sure that you've got your pasta and make sure that you've built yourself one of these devices and know how to use it. The final thing that you need to do then to complete this device is to make a sign to go on the end of it. Here's one I've done earlier. I'm not going to show you how to draw around a saucepan lid and cut it out. I think if you can't work that out you're probably not going to be able to survive a pandemic anyway. So just fasten that onto the end of the side. There we go. And then we'll set the threat level to COVID-19 like so. And we are now ready to go outside and enjoy the day. Bye.